Hello, hello, guys. It's I am Body once again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, I slept in Amara's home yesterday at night, and today I woke up. It's seven thirty in the morning, and uh, you can see the sunlight. Like you can see the environment. Yeah, look at how there is the, the sun is infiltrating through the trees. You can see. It's actually the signs that it's early morning. You can see. Yeah. So, guys, uh, I'm one of the people who take care of the environment here. Yeah, collecting cabbage and uh, drawing them in the bin, designated area bin, and then later on taking it to where it's pumped in the corner there. Yeah, so at the corner, at the corner there, yeah, 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 where the, my finger is, where my finger, where I'm pointing exactly, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we collect them and then we shall burn them later. Yeah, so guys, I hope you're doing well. I want to inform you something that we did yesterday. Uh, and before that, I want to show you this. Yeah, so you can see this one. This is a uh, cleanliness. When you see this, you know that uh, some environmental work is being done. Collection of um, collection of cabbage, you know, and uh, making sure. That you, as you can see, like at the background, that's the designated point, central point where we draw our our cabbage once we collect it. Yeah. So I started by uh, sweeping inside, and they're collecting the dirt outside there, and making sure that they, you can see how it's presented, for right? Like it is conducive to stay around. Yeah, so this is the music system. So it's early morning. No one has started so much with music and everything. People are, uh, uh, people are uh, taking up, the, like, they are getting ready for the day. Some people are, are cleaning themselves. Some people are cleaning. It's not me alone who is doing this. We are a team of around five or six people cleaning both inside and outside the compound. Uh, inside the house and outside the co uh, in the compound, actually, actually, outside the house in the compound, around the compound. Yeah, so guys, uh, it's been long, and uh, I'm, uh, as I wait for my schooling, like, to graduate at 21st of this, of this December, uh, today is 7th. Yeah, so to think, many things we are doing online, like, when you, you, you know, when you join a tertiary institution, there is a student's portal where you, it shows that you are a student, you, are, you log in, you do your stuff, you follow up with your school activities, like uh, doing the exams, uh, registering for the next time you start doing what doing a lot of things where you can do things alo alone yeah it's like a supermarket where you do things alone yeah so student portal is where you do things uh, alone and uh, it does not necessarily you, you do not necessarily have to travel to school to do things yeah so i'm clearing uh, online because i am done with everything i'm in the list of the graduates and then i'll apply uh, i've paid the graduation fee so and then i'll just apply to, to to, to graduate because you must click there is somewhere you must click to show that you are interested with graduation otherwise you will not yeah so that is it and uh, you can see how the like everything everywhere is good and uh, with this one I'm moving around collecting and then show, and I drawing it here so you can see some of them that I put them here already let me show you them yeah so these are them you can see they are full guys and it's yeah you can see how full it is yeah, so taking it there l later, yeah, there is the way in which uh, I cooperate with my team because we are always around four or five who deal with this. So later when we, when we meet, uh, we carry them physically with our hands, like we, we contribute our efforts and then we take it slowly by slowly up to there, we empty, we burn them and then we, I, uh, because I've been washing this, so and then I will wash this or somebody else will do it today and then bring it back here. Yeah, to await for more and more, uh, more and more uh, cabbage, cabbages. Yeah, so guys, uh, yesterday uh, was my first time to enter the the immigrations, like the border control, you know. When you are moving from one country to another, especially on land, you, there is the immigration offices where you have to report, like, what, what are you going to do in that country? You don't just cross the border. So here in, here is, yeah, here at the Sibania, it's near. It's uh, it's actually the like a, a few kilometers, uh, less than five kilometers is the border point where you cross to Tanzania, and that is where you go. And uh, like when you are going to Tanzania, you go through that place. Yeah. So yesterday was my first time entering the immigration offices. So I have a friend from Florida who was uh, wanted to renew uh, her stay in Kenya because. She actually came from Jamaica. She, she resides in uh, Florida, but she's a Jamaican by path. Yeah, so what happens is that uh, 
he was renewing his uh, he wanted to extend his stay because uh, as a visitor in another country you are given a, a specific number of uh, period to stay let's say 90 days so she was given 90 days it's almost ending and she wanted to extend them uh, to uh, more, for more other 90 days uh, more other 90 days so she had called the embassy and uh, not the embassy. She had called the immigration office, and she was told to go to a local, a nearby immigration center to do that. So when we went there, I want to share, share with you the experiences because it was my first time, and I know it's something uh, that's worth sharing, you know, because we learn every day. Yeah. So we went there, and we went to the Kenyan embassy and uh, no, no Kenyan immigration at the border, and uh, we were told that uh, that's not the work of the. Kenyan immigration at the border because the, the work of the Kenyan immigration at the border is to deal with people who are um, moving from Kenya to Tanzania or Tanzania to Kenya. So they give them a pass. Like the Tanzanians who are coming this side, they give them a pass, like a document that shows that they, they are legally allowed to enter any part of Kenya and what uh, it shows what specifically they are doing, like their business. For example, if they came to Kenya to tour or to do some business or to do something, and then there is also the taxation point whereby if they are doing business, they have to pay some. It, 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 they are given a form something to indicate that they are supposed to pay a certain number of uh, a certain amount of taxes because they are there for business. Yeah. So we went there. Uh, we first of all, uh, we first of all uh, uh, did not no, not away. So we went to the Tanzanian side yeah. because uh, at the border. At the border, when you go to the border, you enter the Kenyan Immigration Services, you go to the Norman's land, which is around 10 meters wide, and then you enter the, 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 the Tanzanian side, because you are coming from Kenya to Tanzania. So we went to the Tanzanian side and we realized that uh, that was not the right place, so we came back to the Kenyan side. Yeah, so between the Kenyan uh, Immigration Center and the Tanzanian, the Kenyan and the Tanzanian, there is the Norman's land whereby it doesn't belong to Kenya, it does not belong to Tanzania. Yeah, like no rules apply there, so it's no man's land. It is not in the country. Yeah, like it is the it's the point that separates Kenya and Tanzania. Yeah, like no police officers, no nothing, no rules, no constitution, no election, no nothing. But people do business there, so I heard that uh, when you do business there, because uh, you are selling things to people who are crossing, like you pay no taxes, like. Uh, you know that when you are doing business, let's say in a particular town, the county government officials come to collect tax for you, from you. But now when you are there, no one collects the taxes because actually you are not doing business for any country. <laughs> you are in the normal land. So I think the, 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 the disadvantage of it is that um, you can get into the problems and no one is there to help you. Yeah, so it's somehow risky the way I think because uh, you may encounter, let's say, uh, Allow me to use this word. You may encounter thieves, for example, who are there to rob you, and no one will be there to help you because you are in the nomad's land. Unless you are friends, you know, you, you, are, you are business associates who you are doing business together or who you are doing business with. Yeah, so the generator is up. I want to go and charge my power back. Yeah, so that is it. So when we went to, so when, so I told you uh, we came back to the Kenyan uh, side because uh, we had gone to the wrong uh, port, and when we were there, so we went to the immigration services and we were, we were given information on how she should extend her stay. Yeah. So there is an online site called EFNS, Foreign National Services, Electronic Foreign National Services, whereby uh, you log in there, you create your account. It's very easy to create an account with your email and password, and then you get a confirmation link to your email. So after that, you, you go to, there is a, a whole lot of services that you want. So there is that the part for extending your stay. There is the part for maybe applying for a permit to do business as a foreigner. There is a part for getting a pass, like uh, that document that shows that you are coming to Kenya. So there is a whole lot of services there, electronic foreign national services. Yeah, so she, she looked in. So we went to we were directed to a cyber cafe outside uh, in the Kenyan side. We went there, we created the account, we extended, and we she entered her. 
she entered a form, she filled a form there with her de personal details, like where she, where she's staying in Kenya, her particulars, like the address, the, the center, the, the street, the, her email, names, those, those normal things, like the passport number, where the passport was issued, her, her nationality, uh, when the passport was issued and the expiry date of the passport, those things, you know. And uh, and uh, the reason why she's extending her stay. So she said there is so many reasons. One of the reasons that can make you to extend your stay in a country is that uh, you want to, you still want to enjoy the vacation. You still want to maybe the days that you were given previously are not enough, and uh, you still want to move around and um, meet friends and enjoy places like to as a tourist or vacation. Another stay is maybe you have medical reasons uh, like. Um, you are being treated for a particular condition and it's not over. So you need to extend your stay to finish the medication. So there, there was a whole lot of other, other, other reasons as to why she, she had to extend her stay. Another reason was maybe about family issues. Maybe she had family issues here, around here, because uh, maybe she had family members and she, need to, she needed to extend her stay. Hello, say hi. Hi. Come and greet my people. You have never appeared in my camera. <laughs> uh, you don't know how to talk? You'll know today. Yeah, you will learn, we learn actually. It's allowed. So what's what is thy name? Your name? My name is Lucy Poke. Lucy Poke. Oh, so you what what are you doing? You're collecting uh, you are cleaning the environment. Just like me, right? So you are putting it there, eh? Yeah, nice one. Yeah, so yeah, so I I just had to say tell her to say hi because we are Working together around here, in care of the environment. Yeah. So that's basically, basically what happened yesterday. Um, and uh, after she applied, she was uh, told that uh, she will be given an appointment to go to a physical place, immigration service center in Kenya, not at the border. Because I realized that the services that the border immigration officers over are different with the services that the immigration centers inside the country over. Yeah, like the extension of your stay, that's not the work of the border immigration. That's the work of the immigration sub service uh, centers in, in the country, like for example, in towns like Nairobi, or Kisumu, or Eldoret. So she will, she will be given, um, after she applied yesterday, she will be given an appointment, probably through her email, uh, to go there and now be given a physical stamp on her passport, because they must stamp the passport to show that she's still uh, validly to extend. Because you know, when you are coming to the country, or you are coming to another country, they stamp your passport that shows um, that you are allowed and maybe the period that you should stay there. Uh, that small document. Yeah, so that is it. And uh, I thought I should share that with you because it was an experience to me. And uh, let me, let me without, without forgetting, after you were given the information by the immigration officers, we went through some points and I think that's how people are done in the airport. Yeah. Yeah, I know because uh, I actually studied it in school because uh, I did aviation management. Like the screening of the of of, what, of the bags that you have, like before you enter the airport, before you board the plane, they must screen. They pass your luggage through a particular screen, a particular um, there is a machine that screen that they check inside. Yeah, they have a technology that uh, allows that makes them to check the contents of whatever you are carrying to ensure that you are not carrying anything dangerous like weapons yeah so they passed they were passed inside there because now we, we wanted to get outside to come to the kenyan side actually we had come from kenya but they wanted to confirm so they passed and then i, I picked my my luggage from the other side and then we came we came outside outside of the immigration center yeah, so it was a very good experience learning every day and that's what I like about moving around and interacting with people because you are able to get new things that maybe you have never in, uh, gotten in touch with before. Yeah, so uh, that is it. And um, uh, I hope you have learned something small from there. Ask any question, I'll be able to answer you immediately in the comment section. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Be blessed. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Yes, let me continue collecting my cabbage. It's my work. Yeah, somebody has actually emptied something here, so I must empty it there, and that, uh, and then I'll go, I'll go collect some few because there is a section there I've not collected. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. Bye bye. Be blessed.
see you see you see you see you see you